Hey guys, Lamfan92 here again today with episode number 2 of Random Hybrid Squads. Quickly wanted to say a massive thanks for your support on the first episode of this series. Got a lot of likes and a lot of very positive comments on that, so thanks a lot for that. And actually wanted to ask you something that I didn't actually explain too well in the first episode. And this is basically what do I do if the formation I choose at the end or that gets chosen for me at the end doesn't fit to all the players. Let me know down in the comment section below any suggestions um, if these kind of cases happen to me in this series. So anyways, we are now once again on random.org and I will once again generate numbers from 1 to 12 and the goalkeeper is going to be on the 8th page on the market and he's going to be the 4th player on there. Now moving on to the defender, he's going to be on the 3rd page and it is going to be the 4th player on there as well. Moving forward to the midfielder, ninth page for him there and then the seventh player on that page. For the attacker it's going to be the eighth page and the eighth player there as well. And then the formation is going to be the player on the eighth page, so another eight there, three in a row and uh, the fifth player on the eighth page. Now quickly moving to the web app and showing you how I uh, basically looked for the players and here goalkeeper moving forward, fast forwarding of course to the 8th page and the 4th player on there is actually Herr Wagen from Bochum in the 2nd German Bundesliga so a silver goalkeeper this time. Uh, not too bad though as you will see later on. Then moving forward to the defender we have actually got on the third page here the fourth player is Verle or however you want to pronounce it. Brazilian center back from Grêmio Porto Alegre in the Brazilian league. So once again another silver player for the team. Moving forward to the midfielder on the ninth place page so moving forward to that. And then the seventh player on there is actually going to be as you can see on the screen right now Mikel Arteta. So another Arsenal player after in the last episode I actually had Thomas Vermalen and there was kind of a funny coincidence there. Then moving forward to the attackers, the 8th player on the 8th page and it's actually going to be another silver player and this time it's Luke Koki from Ajax Amsterdam in the Eredivisie. And now moving forward to the formation once again this episode I got, yeah, not, I got kind of lucky that all the players were suited to the formation I basically um, randomly generated here because on the 8th page the 5th player here is Vierinha and he's in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation so this is going to be the formation I'm going to pick for my squad and now let's move on to the squad building part of this video. Okay, as you can see now here guys, I have already input the four players I chose. So first of all, Herr Wagen, pretty mediocre stats to be honest, but he's six foot four tall, so that's pretty good for a goalkeeper. My silver center back Verle, 70 pace, 75 defending, 74 heading, pretty solid stats all around there. I put Mikel Arteta as the CDM, even though he hasn't got the best um yeah, kind of defensive minus stats, but a very good playmaker from the back line there. And then Luke Koki, 93 pace, 73 dribbling, 4-star skills, 4-star weak for this L as well. I'm playing him as a right midfielder, of course. And now moving on to the other players of the squad, the second centre-back is going to be Gonta from um, Zampauli in the second Bundesliga as well. 76 pace on him, pretty tall as well, good defending, good heading stats too, so not too bad there at all. Left-back recently transferred to Kaiserslautern is Löwe here, 84 pace and then otherwise pretty solid stats in the mid-60s. Right back is actually kind of a similar player to Löwe, is Para from Grimo Porta Allegro once again. 82 in pace and pretty solid stats all around there. Not the strongest player, but kind of good and pacey enough. Then the left midfielder is going to be the first in from Pedro from Barcelona, of course. 85 pace, 86 dribbling, 4 star skills, 5 star weak foot ability. Could have, of course, gone with Iniesta, but I think Pedro is a much better outside midfielder on this game. Then attacking midfielder is second in form, Santi Cazorla, very good stats on him, especially 88 passing and 88 dribbling is very nice on him there. Also of course the 4 star skills and the 5 star weak foot ability. Now moving forward to the two strikers, first one is going to be Fernando Torres, the in form version and then other one is in form De Jong. Torres, pretty good stats on him, 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, high attacking work rate, low defensive work rate, pretty good player on this game. And now moving forward to the second striker, it's actually in from De Jong from Ajax as well to get the perfect chemistry out of Lukoki. He's usually a center midfielder and he's got a high defensive work rate which uh, I just basically wanted to try out and actually wasn't too bad after all. 
Now, once again, talking about the squad, while you can see some of the better goals I scored with this team in the background, um, the goalkeeper actually was pretty good. He hasn't got the best stats, but um, on ultimate team, height seems to be a lot, um, or basically very important. So six foot um, four, he is tall, Herrwagen, and so he was actually quite a good goalkeeper, made some good reflex saves for, saves for me as well. Uh, the four-back line, pretty solid, to be honest. Of course, the two silver centre-backs, pretty pacey there with Gonta and Verle, I think. Uh, 73 pace on average on both of them. And uh, then the outside backs, uh, the full-backs, are pacey enough as well with Löwe there and Para. Uh, moving forward to the CDM, Mikla Teta actually kind of surprised me as a CDM. He's pretty good uh, defensively as well, even though his defensive stats are in the high 60s only, I think, if I remember correctly, from his card. But his passing really um, yeah, kind of shines in the CDM spot. Pretty good playmaker from the back line, as I said earlier. Left midfielder um, Pedro actually didn't use him before on this game, and he's actually very solid, especially in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. With his high, high work rates, he seems to be everywhere on the pitch, scoring some nice goals as well. And of course, his 5-star weak foot ability is very nice to have on the team. Right midfielder is Lukoki and he's not just all about the pace even though he has of course 93 pace. His ball control isn't the best but sometimes that is just the way it is with silver players but four star skills, four star weak foot you can definitely burn down the wing with him. His passing isn't too stellar but nevertheless he's a pretty solid player all around and actually I think I scored a weak foot goal with him in this episode as well. Moving forward to the center attacking midfielder is of course Santi Cazorla. Amazing passing, amazing dribbling. He's very good to use the LTR combination with a very good player very tight and close ball control on him and of course the five star weak foot ability once again very useful especially for a CAM uh, which of course is not only important for shooting but also for passing as well moving forward to the two strikers and actually Torres was yeah, a bit of a letdown in my opinion I mean he's a good striker he's got decent enough pace he's got good strength on him uh, four star skills four star weak foot but he didn't shine too much for me and heck he actually was outshone by the other striker in this uh, team which was kind of weird and I'm trying to explain that a little bit so the inform the young actually has got amazing shooting I think he's got 81 shot on his card very good player his high defensive work rate is a little bit irritating at first but I think um, it's kind of good for this squad because he drops a, a back sometimes and then uh, is involved in the play more and he can sometimes use his long shots better as you will see in another clip later on he was actually a very good striker for me on this team and on this game in general so I'll just pick him up for kind of experimental reasons if you want to and this is actually going to be the last goal of this episode so I hope you enjoy this video guys as always a like is greatly appreciated if you did so other than that thanks a lot for watching and I will talk to you later